Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good morning, my dear students. How are you today? And this lesson, we are going to study Unit 10, Lesson 7. It's on a students' book. Please open your students' book, page number 82. Open your students' book, page number 82, so that you can see uh, the lesson well, uh, and you are going to answer some questions and describe the pictures. Here, this is our lesson today. Just one page. It's on page 82. Uh, we are going to practice speaking and uh, listening, listening and speaking. We are going to take part in an interview. We are going to have an interview between two people or two persons. OK, now before the lesson, let's remind you of the educational value for this month. It's time management. You should organize your time to achieve all your goals. You should have a good plan. Don't waste your time uh, surfing the Internet or playing video games. Uh, try to make benefit of your time, even in, uh, in Ramadan. Now let's answer this question. In your point of view, how do you think stories benefit us? Here you can see the teacher or the mother is telling her children or her Kids stories. Uh, what are the benefits of uh, telling stories or reading stories? Amar Hamdi. Uh, the benefits is are uh, giving wisdom, uh, developing imagination, gaining experience, Good. and reducing social isolation. Excellent, Amar. Thanks a lot. Ahmed Jamal Wardani. It helps us to get uh, an important uh, information. Very good. Thank you so much. This is in uh, this reading books in general. Good. So as Omar said, uh, uh, the stories are considered the tools to wisdom. So we gain wisdom and knowledge and uh, stories are like the wings for imagination. So stories uh, develop our imagination and we gain a lot of experience and it can uh, reading stories reduce social isolation. So you will not feel lonely. You will not feel lonely. Uh, you will have to uh, talk to people, uh, listen to people uh, to gain uh, knowledge and uh, a lot of experience. We've got one new word. Emotive. 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 Emotive is an adjective. It comes from the noun emotion. Making people uh, have strong feelings. Emotive. Emotive. Her story was highly emotive. It, it has a lot of emotions. It makes people have strong feelings. So emotive is an adjective describing the story. Her story was highly emotive. Now look at these pictures here. These pictures are going to tell you a story. Look at the pictures here and write three lists of nouns, verbs and uh, adjectives. Suppose that you are going to write a story for the, uh, describing these pictures. Which words will you use for uh, describing or telling this story? You can make three lists. The first list, nouns. The first, second list, verbs. The third list, adjectives. OK, who can give me uh, nouns? Describing these pictures. Example, a river, a truck, a helicopter, a van. What about, yes, Shadi? Uh, the first picture, uh, a car. Yes. The second picture, uh, climbing. Yes, yes, climb is a verb here. Someone is going to climb or they are going to rescue this person. Good. Thank you. Khaled uh, Walid. Um, uh, um, uh, look uh, at this picture and write uh, uh, these uh, lists uh, of, uh, of noon, uh, nouns and verbs. Nouns, verbs and, and adjectives. Uh, uh, Shad, you, uh, Khaled, you don't have to read the question. I have just explained it. Tell me okay. your answer, please. Uh, uh, he is uh, driving uh, 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 quickly, and uh, uh, and he is, um, uh, uh, but he is driving quickly. Thank you, Khalid. Amr Hamdi. 
uh, activity. Yes. Uh, Thank you. So here, this is a list for nouns, river, bank, flood, helicopter, rain, river, road, roof, van, water, window. So these are, uh, uh, these are what? Nouns, a list of nouns. And a list of uh, verbs, stop, climb, flood, get, stuck, pull, rain, rescue, worry, look, drive, get out. Now, what about adjectives? Cold, rainy, windy, deep, stuck, worried, wet, lucky, frightened. These are uh, adjectives. So uh, here, first I asked you to make three lists, a list of nouns, a list of, of uh, verbs, a list of adjectives. Now, next, what are we going to do? You are going to uh, rearrange these pictures. These pictures are not in the correct order. Put these pictures into the correct order to make a story with a happy ending. So these pictures uh, are going to tell us a, ha a happy story. Uh, maybe it, uh, it's, uh, it was he was in a problem, but at the end he uh, he what he was saved. Now you are going to arrange these pictures. Which is the first picture? Which one do you think? Which one is the first picture? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? You are going to write here the numbers. Uh, shall I help you? Salim Nabil, which one is, uh, is the first one, do you think? Uh, number five. Number five, I agree with you. So number five is the first one. Okay, now we rearrange these numbers. I'll give you two minutes to, uh, to rearrange these pictures uh, to make a, a story. OK, ready? Go on, rearrange these pictures to make a story. Amar Hamdi. Uh, number one. So five, one, five, one, five, one. You no, know, five, four, five, four. Let's see, Haytham. Three. Three. Five, four, three, no, one, because the water is low first. Five, four, one. Yes, Khaled Walid. Five, uh, four, uh, one, uh, 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 three. Three. Yes, two. five, four, one, three. Yes, I'll add. Okay. Thank you. Uh, six. Six, six. Six. Five, four, one, three, six. Good. The last one. Yes, Haytham. Two. Two. Yes. Five, four, one, three, six, two. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, there's some yes, mistake. Yes, let's check. Uh, yes. In picture four, uh, the water is uh, in the uh, in the car. The water is in the car. Yes. Yeah. It uh, it will be uh, five, one, uh, four, three, uh, two, uh, six, two. Okay. Five one. Five one. Yes. Uh, four. Four, four, three, uh, four, five, four, one, three, four, three, six, one, uh, two, six. Okay, two. let's check here when you when after listening. Okay, let's check. Now you are going to listen 
to a radio news report and it checks the order. So these are the, uh, the pictures here which are going to tell us a story. Uh, you are going to listen to the radio news report about this story. Please listen and then check your answer. Is, uh, the, is it uh, the correct order or not? Module 4, Unit 10, 10.1, page 82, Exercise 2, Radio News Report. The driver of a white van was on his way home yesterday evening. It was raining heavily as the man drove through the town centre. The water in the river was very high. He left the town and drove along a country road by the river. Then, with no warning, the water came over the riverbank and flooded the road. The man continued driving, but the water quickly became deeper. Finally, water got into the engine and the van stopped. The driver started to worry as the water came inside his van. Then he heard the sound of a helicopter overhead coming to rescue him. He climbed onto the roof of his van and waited. The helicopter dropped a rope to him and pulled him to safety. The driver said later, I'm a very lucky man. The helicopter arrived just in time. So let's check the answer. Is it five, four, one? Yes, three, six, two. Let's correct them. OK, let's correct them. Yes, Shah Ahmed, uh, Ahmed, I think, Ahmed Samir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, Ahmed, say the right answer. Screen is gone. Uh, the first one is? Uh, first one is uh, number, one, uh, number one, the man driving. Which one? The man is driving is the first picture. You are going to arrange them. You are going to arrange these pictures, please. Ah, OK, uh, five uh, is the cars parking in front of the house. Yes, number five. Yes. OK, this is number one. Yes, the second one. Uh, second one, the man uh, got in the car and started driving it. Which one? Uh, number four, the cars, uh, the man sitting in the car. Here, but uh, as your friend said, the, the the water comes inside the car. Here, this is number four. So I think it's uh, you are the first one should be five, and the second one should be number one. The water floods it mm -hmm. out of the river bank. And second number one, three. number three, three. The man lost yes, the, the water. Number three, and number one, or uh, number, number four, four. Yes, yes. And no. number six, and the no. last one is number two. OK, this is the right answer. OK, I agree with you. So module four, one, three, unit six, ten. Now you are going to uh, listen to me. I'm going to read the text for you there so that you will understand it again. And then I'm going to ask you some question. Radio news report. The driver of a white van was on his way home yesterday evening. It was raining heavily as the man drove through the town center. The water in the river was very high. He left the town and drove along a country road by the river. Then with no warning, the water came over the river bank and flooded the road. The man continued driving, but the water quickly became deeper. Finally, the water got into the engine and the van stopped. The driver started to worry as water came inside his van. Then he heard the sound of a helicopter overhead coming to rescue him. He climbed on to the roof of his van and waited. The helicopter dropped a rope to him and pulled him to safety. The driver said later, I'm very lucky, man. The helicopter arrived just in time. Here, this is the radio news report you have just listened and here he used what he used the correct tense when you tell a story in the past you use the past symbol you know here all the verbs are in the past was was raining drove uh, was left 
all the verbs are are what in the past except the last sentence i am a very lucky man he's telling that uh, he's uh, very lucky so it's a fact he used the present symbol tense but he said he used the helicopter arrived just in time he used what the past symbol okay now role play an interview between the van driver and a news reporter imagine that you are a news reporter you are the news reporter and you are going to ask the van driver some questions what are these questions would you uh, would you like to ask if you are a news reporter now i want uh, one uh, to role play as if he's a news reporter and uh, the the other one will would be the van driver what are the questions first which questions would you like to ask the van driver about this incident or about this accident? Shadi Zakaria. Uh, what is your uh, what was your feeling uh, while this accident? Good. What's your feeling? How did you feel? How did you feel when you were in this uh, this what in this event or in this uh, in this what in this problem? Good. How did you feel? Haytham. Uh, Paris. Uh, what did you feel when the helicopter uh, help uh, come and help you? Yes. How did you feel in the end when the helicopter or when you heard the helicopter or when you saw the helicopter? Good. What are other questions? Would you like to ask the van driver? Amr Hamdi. Uh, uh, how do you feel when the water floods into the car? How do or how did? How did? How because did. you are talking about a, a bus event. How did you feel? How did you feel when when what? When the car came in uh, into or inside the car? Good. How did you feel when when the van stopped working? Yes, Shadi. So you are talking about feeling. Uh, talking where, about feeling. Uh, feeling? Uh, where did the helicopter uh, drop it? You? Yes. Drop it off you. Yes. Yes. When did the helicopter drop you off? Good. Ala uh, Atif. How did you feel uh, when the water uh, become uh, deep? Uh, deep? Very good. How did you feel when the water uh, became uh, become very deep? Good. Ultras. Uh, did you call anyone to rescue you? Did you? Did you call someone? Did you phone? Did you, did you phone did you, someone to rescue you? Good. OK, thank you. Yes, Ahmed. Ahmed. Did you call anyone to rescue yes. you? Yes, did you call or did you phone anyone to, to rescue you? Good. Abdurrahman al Uh Where did you go at this time? Where did you go at this time? Yes, he said I was going uh, going to work. Here, when he tell, tell us the story here, he said the driver of a white uh, white van was on his way home yesterday evening. So he was coming back uh, from work. He was going home. The driver of a white van was on his way home yesterday evening and it was raining uh, heavily as a man drove through the town center. So he was uh, going back home on his way home. Good. OK, now so these are the questions you uh, you chose to ask the van driver. Now, who's going to answer this question? Suppose that you are a van driver and a news reporter. Look at the pictures again to remind yourself what happened. What questions could uh, the reporter ask you? The questions, right? Five questions to ask the driver. How, how could you describe your feelings? Worried, terrified. Here, the first one. Why did your van stop? What did you do when the water got into the engine? What happened next? How did you feel when the water became deep, as Ala mentioned? 
Did you call anyone to rescue you? Very good. Altars. Allah, Ahmed uh, said this question. Good. Now, who would like to answer this question? I'm going to ask Omar. Omar Hamdi, so, uh, imagine that you are the van driver. Omar, why did your van stop? Uh, because uh, the water floods into the car uh, and uh, and uh, uh, arrived to the engine. Yes, uh, my van stopped because it got inside the uh, the uh, the engine or the water got inside the engine and it stopped working. Good, uh, Omar. What did you do when the water got into the engine? What did you do? What did you do? Uh, the, uh, I tried to get out of the car. I climbed to the roof of the van. Did you uh, did you do that? Yes. Good. Omar, what happened next? Uh, I uh, I saw a helicopter com coming uh, coming to rescue me. Good. How did you feel when the water became deep? I felt uh, what? I feel worried. And good terrified. and terrified. Yes, I felt worried. We use the past symbol, Omar. Feel, felt. I felt worried uh, and terrified. Good. Did you call anyone to rescue you? Uh, no, I just saw. No, I didn't. Yes. Uh, maybe the mobile doesn't work. The mobile, uh, I, I didn't. I couldn't call anyone because uh, the mobile is, was out of service. OK, thank you, Omar. Who would like to ask uh, the, uh, someone or these questions and uh, another one answer these questions? Let's start or let's choose two. OK, Salim, Salim Nabil, you are going to answer this question and Ahmed Jamal, uh, Ahmed Jamal Abul Khair uh, is going to ask you. OK, Ahmed Jamal, you are the news reporter. Salim Nabil is a van driver. Uh, why did your van stop? Uh, the water uh, went into uh, went inside the engine. What did you when? What did you do when the water uh, got into the engine? I opened the window and uh, climbed to the roof of the car of the van. What happened? Very next? good. Uh, I waved the. Uh, at the helicopter, uh, they saw me I waited, and, yes. uh, and they yeah. dropped the rope, dropped the rope to me. How did you feel when the water became deep? I, I feel very frightened. Did you call anyone to accuse you? No, I didn't uh, because the phone is out of service. Excellent, okay. Salim. Okay. Thank you, Ahmed Jamal Abul Khair. OK, good. Do the interview change rules? Repeat the interview with different questions and which rule uses more emotive language and why? Now, uh, who would like to give me more questions? What uh, what questions would you like to ask the van driver? Who would like to add more questions? Imagine that you are a news reporter and you'd like to ask the van driver. Yes, Faris. Uh. Are you worried about your car? Yes. Uh, did you feel worry? Did you feel worry about your car? Good. Ahmed Jamal Wardani, can you answer this question? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. I thought it won't to work. Good. OK, uh, Shadi, have you got a question? Uh, did the government will give you uh, money f because of this accident? Yes. Very good. Yes. Who could like to answer uh, uh, Shadi's question? Amr Hamdi? Uh, I, I, I think I, so. Uh, I'm not sure. Do you think that the government will award uh, rebay? Uh, you for the damage uh, that happened in your car? Uh, yes, possible. It's possible. Yes, good. Thank you. OK, what would you do if you were the van driver? 
<laughs> Imagine that you are now the van driver and you were uh, on your way home, coming back from work, and uh, it was raining heavily, and suddenly uh, the river of the the river uh, flooded with water. Uh, over the over the streets or the roads and the water got inside the, your car what would you do if you were the van driver uh, yes khad walid um, i will uh, i will or uh, i would uh, i will i would uh, i would uh, 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 um, uh, uh, require uh, require the police. I would call the police. Uh, call us there. Uh, here, uh, where Salem mentioned that uh, the mobile doesn't work, it was out of service. So, uh, uh, what uh, would you so do I, uh, if you were the van driver? Yes, uh, I can uh, run uh, run out the car, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and and would you, would you, would you continue swimming? Would you continue swimming in the in the in this what in this heavy rain? Um, no. Uh, but but uh, uh, the waves, the waves, can... and the, the water current is very strong. It's very okay. dangerous to swim at this time. I can uh, ke uh, I can uh, uh, sit uh, in a van uh, 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 and I wait uh, the police. You, you would sit in the van, but the the, the van would uh, would be full full of water. So I think it's uh, this is a good way to uh, to say, uh, to be safe. Uh, you get out of the car, you climb on the roof and wait for help. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Khaled. Let's see, Hani. What would you do, Hani, if you were the van driver? Mohammed Hamouda, what would you do? Uh, I would uh, go out uh, the car and climb, climb into the roof and wait. To the them. roof, yes. Good, thank you. Luai, what would you do if you were the van driver? First, I would try and call someone for help. And if the phone was out of, was out of service, I would climb to the highest point possible and hope for help to come. Excellent, Luai. Okay, Luai, how did you feel at the end when the helicopter came and rescued you? I was relieved. Yes, I felt relieved. I felt uh, happy. I, I, I was very lucky because I was saved. Thank you so much. Now, uh, please, uh, let's listen to the stressed part of the words here. Word stress. Please listen and repeat. Look at these words here and underline the stressed part of the words. هنا في مقاطع في الكلمات يا شباب يكون فيها المقطع بيكون مشدد. اسمع زي المقطع ده بيتشدد و listen and repeat. Okay. 10.2 page 82 exercise 4 A motorbike motorbike B Bicycle, bicycle. C, historical, historical. D, traditional, traditional. E, helicopter, helicopter. F, reporter, reporter. Now, Underline the stressed part of the words you hear or you just heard. Ahmed Altras, motorbike, yes. So which is the, the stressed part here? M O O. Mo. Yes, Mo. Okay. What about the second word, Faris? Bicycle? No, by by B I here by bicycle. Please listen, listen again and underline the stress part here. Listen again. Try to listen and repeat. Listen and ten point two, page eighty two, 
Exercise four. A. Motorbike. Motorbike. B. Bicycle. Bicycle. C. Historical. Historical. D. Traditional. Traditional. E. Helicopter. Helicopter. F. Reporter. Reporter. Now, work with a partner reads these things uh, aloud to each other. Remember to stress the right part of, of the long words. Who would like to read the uh, first sentence? A. Who would like to read A? Yes, honey. Uh, he was on a black uh, motorbike. Good, thank you. Yes, Ahmed Karam, B. Uh, I have got a silver I have got bicycle. Yes, good. Thank you. C, Wardani. C, uh, it is uh, a traditional story. It's a traditional story. Good. So here, as you see, these are the stressed, the stressed part of each word. Mat, by, and dish, d, tradish, traditional. Okay. So these are the stressed uh, part of each word. Thank you so much. Uh, here, I'd like to give you a uh, last exercise for these uh, short minutes. Here we answer these questions uh, before. Now, you remember use to. We use to, we use use to when you talk about a habit in the past. And use to is followed with an infinitive. Now, look at this exercise. It shows and, uh, the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. I'm going to give a star for someone who's going to answer them. Okay, let's see. Who's going to answer? I'll choose randomly. Who is going to answer? Ahmad Jamal Wardani. Yes, number one, Ahmad Jamal. Yes, it, uh, he used to go online to find the information he wanted. Go. The right answer, go. Very good, Ahmed. I'm going to give a star for Ahmed. Okay. Now, thank you, Ahmed. Who's going to answer the next question? Let's choose a name. Yes, Shadi, you are very lucky today. Yes, Shadi. Uh, my brother didn't uh, used to walk uh, to school. Use. With D or without D? Without D. Without D. Yes, good. Yes. Shadi, thank you. Let's going to answer third question. Yusuf Khala, Yusuf, ready. Number three, Yusuf. Number three. Number three. Uh, Saudi, so what Yes. Uh, I used to then, then, they my ear. My, than my brother, but now my I'm not. Both, no, I'm not. Uh, Yusuf, choose Saudi one of these answers. B. B. Which one? B. Letter B or the B. letter D? B. So I'm going to give here Yusuf a star for Yusuf. B. B. Good, Yusuf. Thank you. 
Now let's see who's going to answer number four. Yes, Hani Sayed. Number four, Hani. My father used to uh, smoke many cigarettes uh, a day. Very good, honey. So honey will get another star. OK, number five was going to answer number five. Let's see. Abdullah Bassam Rashidi. Abdullah Bassam Rashidi. Number five. Abdullah Bassam. Quickly, Abdullah. Number five. One, two, three. Abdullah. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, Abdullah. Number five, quickly, please. Yours. Use. Which one? A, B, C, D. Which one, Abdullah? Hey, hey, good, Abdullah. Abdullah will get a star. OK, Abdullah, thank, thank you. you. Let's give Abdullah a star. OK, last one. Who's going to answer the last question today? Hamad Khalid al -Hifi. Hamad Khalid, yes, number six. Hamad Khalid. Hamad Khalid, yes, Hamad. One, two, three, quickly, please. Hamad Khalid, Hamad Khalid. Okay, let's give him a warning. Hamad, pay attention. Now, who's going to answer the last question? Abdurrahman Hassan Sayyid. Abdurrahman Hassan. Jack yes, uh, ride, ride a motorbike, but last year he sold it and uh, bought a car. Which one? Uh, you used the two? B? Which one? A, B, C, D? B. B. Yes, good. Thank you. Abdurrahman Hassan, let's give him a star. Okay, thank you so much. Until we meet again tomorrow, inshallah. Goodbye and good luck.